Teleport is a built-in View 3 component that allows us to teleport part of a component's template into another place in our DOM. While typically, we've seen Teleport being used to create modals, where we send our modal content to an element outside of our view app itself, another use case is when we want to control where certain inline elements are being placed within the context of our own page. One example where this might be helpful is let's say that we have an article page where we have our main article and a table of contents on the right side. So this has two columns, but if we switch to a mobile view, we get a single column layout where a table of contents is now between our header section and the contents of our article. While we could accomplish this with conditional rendering or with CSS styles, that would require us to declare this table of contents in two places in our code. However, if we instead use the same section and conditionally teleport it, then we only need to declare it once. All right, let's code this up. So this is the starter code that's not using teleport. We have a main section, which has a header and some dummy article content. And then we have an aside that has our table of contents and navigation. And then here's a quick look at the CSS styles, but a full link to the code will be in the description. So the problem right now is that when we resize our page, our spacing gets all messed up. If we simply wanted to put the table of contents above the article, we could simply use a grid and change the order of these elements. But since we want to inject this table of contents in the middle of that left column, we're going to have to do something else. So to start, let's wrap our aside in views teleport element and say that we want to teleport to an element with an ID of TOC. And we can can create a div with that ID right above our article. If we look at our app now, we can see that a table of contents is being teleported to the right spot, but this isn't the exact result we want. On larger devices, we want our table of contents to be on the side. And to accomplish this, we're going to use a prop on teleport called disable, which controls whether or not the content inside teleport is going to be sent to the targeted element. And to determine what the current screen size is, we're going to go to one of my favorite view libraries, view use, and use the use breakpoints composer to determine what screen size we're on. So if you don't have that already, install that into your project and we want to import breakpoints tailwind and use breakpoints from view use slash core. We can say const breakpoints equals use breakpoints and then pass in our tailwind breakpoints. And to determine whether we should display the desktop view or the mobile view, we can say const is desktop equals breakpoints dot greater. And then we want to see if it's greater than the medium breakpoint. From here, all we have to do is go to our teleport and bind the value of disable to is desktop. So if we want to display the desktop view, we're not going to teleport our table of contents. So let's go ahead and look at our app. And in the larger view, we have two different columns. And if we change our screen size, our table of contents moves into our main content. And this is exactly what we're looking for. One other best practice I will call out here is to follow semantic HTML. Instead of always rendering in a side component, we want to use a dynamic component and set the value of is to a side on the desktop and just a plain old div otherwise. This is a great use case for teleport that doesn't involve modals. You can even use this across components to send content across your app. The only thing to keep in mind here is that the element that we're teleporting to must already be in the DOM when our teleport gets mounted. But I hope you found this interesting. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more view content. And I'll see you in the next video.